I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Cabal on the Amstrad CPC. Now, this is a game I was kind of slightly obsessed with on the Spectrum, and I've never played the, the Amstrad CPC version. So I've got this on my 6128, and we're going to give it a go. I've redefined the keys, that's all I've done so far, so I've got my grenade on. It kind of reminds me of, like, an upgrade on Space Invaders, and I think I'm maybe be slightly, a little bit, a little bit unkind, really, but, but it is, because you duck and cover behind things, and then you shoot behind the cover at the things that run around the screen. A little bit. So anyway, let's put Cabal on. We're going to do that now. So we're little level one, ready to go. And there we are. There's our little man. And have I defined the keys wrong? No, 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 I haven't. I think. Don't think I have. Oh no, I've got the slightly wrong. So there's our little man. It's done in. It's. I've obviously done in four color mode on the on the uh, on the on the Amstrad CPC to to kind of keep the graphics high. Um, more matching the, the 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 spectrum version, if that makes sense, than the than than the the Amstrad version. However, to fair, it's not bad. So you've got a little man here. You've got a certain number of enemies at the bottom, um, which you've got to kind of complete the killing all these enemies before you can you can do anything. You've got to throw a grenade. Um, it's a little bit more than Space Invaders in the sense of the throwing. St uh, you can kind of move the gun round when you you're, you're doing things. Um, you can destroy the buildings, if I remember rightly. If you shoot the buildings enough, they, they blow up. Yeah, there you go. Knew that was the case. So, our little man here. And he's got to avoid the bullets. And I got caught. Got, I think I moved into that bullet. And nine enemies to go, is it? Possibly. Ten enemies to go. I don't know how many enemies to go it is, actually. Looking at that. Very odd. Right, okay, we're going to... Our through oh there's a machine gun let's get that missed it so the little extras drop down now this is an arcade game of the same name I have to admit I much prefer um, just looking at this the Spectrum and this the Amstrad's version of the the, the graphics I quite like them over the, and above the arcade the arcade was nice uh, but the arcade they had these little very skinny kind of characters whereas the Spectrum version is like m nice and bulky that the, the they they feel they feel it feels like a bulky sort of enemy of sort you know sort of uh, enemies and bulky sort of cartoonified um, graphics I mean there was always that conversion wasn't there there was always that sort of um, whether things stayed the same let's get that that should be a shotgun. Yeah, it's better. We've got them all. We've nuked them all. We've cleared all the enemies, and we are free to, to move on to the next level. But I do think that the, the graphics on those two versions are better. I've not played the Commodore 64 version. I must try that. Um, just on the grounds of the that the, I've tried these two, I might as well try that one. They're not. They've shot away my my barricades really quickly. There, did you see that? Really, really quickly. They've, they've shot them away. And there's a tank coming through here. Throw a grenade at it. There we've got the tank with a grenade. Now a, I've got my 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 explosive shotgun. I'm just firing it everywhere. It's actually all right. I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure the title screen of which which you will I'll pong on the screen there. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean it really is. It's gorgeous, but you never quite know unfortunately because the poor old the poor old Amstrad CPC, although an absolutely beautiful and very capable machine. Um, often suffered because of the fact that it had the same processor as the Spectrum and people just ported the games over um, without taking any uh, 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 care over the fact that that actually it's not a bad little machine it's it's not a bad com it's not a it's not a, and it's got a beautiful palette and it's good in its own right but you have to program for it that's the thing so this one's really nicely done boom throw a grenade over there oh missed it There's bullets everywhere. Oh, just got got by that one. I knew that was coming. There we go. I've got three lives left. We're, we're doing all right, actually. Probably better than I do on the Spectrum version, if I'm honest. Got a little bit, of, a little bit of protection there from for a basic bit of the level. More grenades being thrown in. We're doing. Ah, you know, some. I really am. I'm doing really nicely. Oh, I really like that. That was really good. Um, no, I'm not going to continue, but but but, and I'm going to put my name in. There we go. Get the deem, get the get the demon in there. Oh, I really like that one. That's worth that's worth getting the old emulator flat fired up for that one. Oh, den. I can't can't I can't spell my own name. Back there we go. It's a bit fast on the old 
um, zapping. I like the, the movement on that as well. It's quite nice. Oh, it's excellent, that. James Bag. Let's see, James Bagley. And man who did it, Jim Bagley, as as and the the the, the current oh, the, one of the, the the sort of I don't know if he was he was one of the founders of the, the ZX Spectrum Next, so he's he's on there. That's cool. That's really good. That was a lot of fun. Um. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.